So our vision vehicle uh, stands what we call for the great escape. The meaning is uh, if we imagine in a future world where the cars are running autonomously and everything is digitized, everything is with uh, uh, artificial intelligence, we think this uh, motorbiking is one of the big uh, analog experiences in the future. This bike uh, points very much in the future. Uh, you can very clearly see it's a typical BMW motorbike. Uh, and this is uh, mostly because we took the typical icons of a BMW motorbike and uh, subscribed it into the future, basically. So, first of all, it's this typical triangular shape of the bike, which you might find also on a, an old R32 from the 20s. Secondly, uh, the very typical icon of the boxer engine, uh, the flat twin. This is the typical style icon of BMW motorbikes, always has been. Uh, of course, in the future, this will be definitely an emission-free engine. But to us, it's very important that we have these mechanoid sculptures in the bike. This is very important for also for motorbike riders. They want to see this mechanics as a luxury of the future. We typically find here this black color, which we know from all the BMWs from the past, in combination with white lines. Also very iconic. You know it from the last 100 years from BMW motorbikes, and we want to subscribe this in the next 100 years. The big highlight of this bike is the intelligent connection between the human, the machine, and the environment. And this enables all kind of riders to get the maximum experience out of the bike. Like the Novice, for example, it will be supported by the bike, by uh, safety and by uh, support functions. On the other hand, uh, for the experienced rider, for the professional rider, uh, he can also go to the limit and the bike knows exactly where the physical limit is so he can go even beyond his personal limit. So that makes it very interesting and make, makes a, a new experience to all kind of riders. So we assume in the future we won't have a helmet anymore. We have smart glasses, we call it the visor. Uh, the visor, first of all, of course, it's a wind and weather protection. On the other hand, uh, it gives the rider information if he needs information or he wants to have information. Apart from this, we reduced all displays of the bike. There is nothing to be seen. It's reduced to the max. And if you need information, uh, you will find it on your, uh, on your visor. Um, a very important fact is the rider gear. We assume in the future this uh, rider gear will mostly be a fashion statement. Because the bike itself is so intelligent, you won't have to fear any danger. Um, of course, you need a little bit of wind and weather protection. But foremost, it's, uh, you, you should feel like free. You should feel like comfortable. And this will also free your head. This is why we don't want to have a helmet. The gear is also uh, smart gear. We call it smart gear. It's intelligent. Uh, it uh, can uh, interact with the human. It can interact with the bike. And of course, it can interact with the environment. So it knows the pulse rate, it knows uh, it can vibrate, it can uh, be enlightened, for example. So there is uh, many options you can do with the, with the rider gear in the future. Like in 30 years when I step on this Vision bike, I think I will have lots of fun because uh, it's a very analog experience on the one hand. On the other hand, I know that I can do whatever I want. If I over exceed, the bike will bring it back to normality. I will have a perfect experience and perfect day.
Thank you.